It's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so staying on the topic of judgment, because something else happened to us recently. We were at Luna Park. It's this big amusement park that's in the city. And my daughter and I, well, my daughter decided she wanted to go on this ride, okay? And it was, they had a Halloween theme, okay? It was a night time. It was open up at night time and it was from 7 o'clock till 12 o'clock at night on this Saturday. So it was just a special thing. It wasn't an everyday event. So we booked and we went. And anyway, it's night time, okay? Lots of teenagers and young people drinking and carrying on, you know, and, and being silly. And so I'm just setting the scene so you've got an idea, okay, of <laughs> what it is that we walked into. So my daughter decides I want to go on this ride, okay? Now, there were two queues for this ride. There was one queue that was called the mild ride, and for that ride, you had to be under a certain height, which of course, my daughter being six, was absolutely under this height. Or you could go on the wild ride. Right, which was for everybody else that was above this particular height, okay? There was a height restriction for this ride. So we went in the queue that we were supposed to go in, okay, for little ones under a certain height, we went into this queue. And in front of us would have been six, um, okay, ages 18 to 25 kids, right? To me they're kids, but adults, if you want to call them that, okay, from 18 to 25. Anyway, so we're standing in this queue, okay, with my daughter, and we're watching the ride go once, and then that queue goes, the next the queue next to us. We're watching the ride go again. This is now twice. By the third time that that queue goes, and this ride is, we're watching it for the third time now, and of course my daughter by this stage being six is, when is it our turn to get on? When are we allowed to get on? When can we get on? I'm bored, waiting here, looking at my feet, right? Or looking at the ride as it goes. Anyway, when can we go? When can we go? When can we go? When is it our turn, right? This, this whole thing started by the third ride. Now, at this stage, right, <laughs> I started to ask the people in front of us, why aren't we going? Why are we not allowed on the ride, right? About six kids between the ages of 18 and 25. Okay, there couldn't have been anyone there more than that, more than that age or less than. Okay, they looked old enough. And they were all, we don't know. We don't know why we're not allowed on or why she's not calling us to go on. Okay, this is the third row. And they and I said, have you asked her? No. They said, why don't you ask? Right. I waited for that ride and I thought, well, if we go on the next one, that's fine. No, she called them again. So of course I pushed forward, I said, excuse me, and I pushed forward. And I said to the lady, why aren't we allowed on? Why are you not allowing us on? This is the fourth ride we've had to watch here. And there are parents with children that are too young to go on that ride. So why aren't we allowed on? And then this girl, for whatever reason, decided to start arguing with me that no, this is the third time she's let that queue through, not the fourth time. So suddenly the girl at the very front of the queue, which would have been around the 25 year mark, said no it is the fourth time so then this argument of whether it was the third or the fourth time started rather than why are we not allowed on so by this time by this stage i was escalating i was starting to get very cranky right was, why why are they allowed on and we're not allowed on what is going on you know and Anyway, I got very angry with this lady, started yelling at her, you know, so what's going on? Why can't you explain? Why are we not allowed on, right? And it was more because I felt sorry for my daughter, you know, that been waiting these four rides and that she wasn't letting us on the ride. So I was only queuing up for her. I really didn't care about getting on the ride at all. You know, I had no interest in going on there, but I was doing it for her because we'd take turns. My husband would do one ride with her and then I'd do the next ride. Anyway, or sometimes we'd all go on, but I'd already had dinner, so I was kind of restricting the amount of rides I wanted to go on because I really didn't want to end up feeling sick, you know? So anyway, um, oh, I went off at her, you know, and so many things were going through my mind and I was still angry the next day, you know? I was still cross the next day. But 
As it all started to settle down in my mind, there were so many things going through it. For example, this group of young people in front of me could have said something rude to her. They could have done something. As I said, there was a lot of alcohol, a lot of young people drinking, doing silly things. Now they could have done something to this girl, you know, that was doing the cues, letting the cues through on the right. They could have offended her. But then the rest of us that were in the queue, because there were quite a few parents behind me with their little ones, we were all being punished for something that they may have said or done these six people in front of us. That was number one. Number two, I thought, how sad that these kids are between the ages of 18 and 25 and not one of them spoke up to say, when is it our turn? Not one of them stood up for themselves. Are we invisible here? We're just standing here? Are you not gonna let us through? Not one of them had the courage to say, hey, when is it our turn? You know, and that made me quite sad because I thought, well, you know, why? Why can't they speak up for themselves? Why can't they say what's, you know? So, of course, it occurred to me maybe they were too scared to say something because they'd already upset her in the first place with something silly that they'd said. Could have been anything because it was a Halloween theme. They were all dressed up in Halloween costumes. So, I really don't know what went on beforehand or why these six grown-up kids okay clearly over the height of 130 centimeters were in this queue were they trying to jump the other queue do you know what I mean like cut in still there was a whole queue of people behind with young children being punished for the behavior of six now, in the next video, we're going to talk more about this because this does affect you every day. Think about it. Think about what happened, what I've just described. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how it happens every day to us and how we react and how we behave and how we can start to observe that and change that behavior. Okay, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.